Hey Butterfly Beauty, so let's talk pencil cases or 100 pen case or uh, however you like to um, call them, but I think they were started out with a 100 pen case. So what you're looking at here is the Kipling 100 pen case and these retail 50 something dollars or something like that. Uh, however, you can buy these, you can find these in your Ross. And I think some girls said they found them at Marshall and maybe TJ Maxx that so you can get them for about 17 or 19 dollars. I did not pay 50 something dollars for this because y'all know I, I just can't. <laughs> I cannot. Uh, this was on sale for 18 or 19 dollars at the um, Kipling outlet ooh, months and months ago. Um, and I went to go purchase it. It usually comes with a monkey that's here, a little gorilla that's here, uh, but my daughter has already taken the gorilla. She wanted that for her keychain. Uh, so as far as why am I showing you this, because I'm showing you this because I'm going to show you a Mambi product, but I want you to kind of get an idea of what that looks like. So here when you open up the 100 pin case, you have pin loops that are on this side. You have pin loops that are here. And as you can see, I have the carp, uh, Carpe Diem ones from the Planner Attic Box, and these are pretty thick, and they fit in here really nice. Uh, I have some pen gems that are here as well, so I'm going to get a new, uh, get myself a pen gem case. And then there's no pen loops here, and then, of course, I have a bunch of dies in here. And this is just the um, bottom of the box, or the case, so there's no... Um, pockets or anything that's there so it's just a empty deep pocket you have pen loops the insert here that has the pen loop pen loops here and you close it up so that's just to give you perspective on the Kipling case so again you sometimes can find them for $17 or so at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Ross um, but sometimes those are hard to find but the retail price of those are in their in the $50 range so Ta -da! So let's take a look at the Create 365 pencil case. And this retails for $24.99. This can be found on the Mambi website as well as on uh, in Michaels. So um, the difference, as you can see, is that with the Mambi pen case already that you have a handle so that you can carry. The material is slightly different. And so this has more of like, I call it raincoat, but it's not necessarily raincoat. It's a thicker kind of material. This is a little bit more cloth material itself. I think this one gives way to being wiped a little bit um, better if something was to spill on it. It comes in two colors, so the teal color and then one that they call a salmon color. It's a pink color, basically. It has um, a good thick zipper and also the pull for it is really nice. There is no charm section, you know, you can add your own charm, do whatever you like, you know, to the handle. So where you stop in similarity. So remember that in the Kipling we have a pencil loop that's here. There is no pencil loop here. What you have here is a pocket. So the pocket is where you can add some more pins, or as you can see here, I added a Make Cool Stuff notebook uh, so that I can uh, have my blackout planning info right here. And I was just trying to figure out what to do with it and how I'm going to be utilizing it. Then I have all my jelly roll pins here. So one of the things I will say is that these pen loops are smaller than the Kipling pen loops. And so let's take a look at that again. So here's your pen loop and you see how we have this um, Carpe Diem one that's in here. But I wouldn't be able to stick this Carpe Diem. Well, let's see. This Carpe Diem one in here, so I'm going to take out one of my Jelly Roll ones, and let's put this in. Oh, I lied, so let me let me stop lying to y'all. That's why we do these types of reviews and look-throughs, right? So, it does fit. I am so sorry. Let me not be lying to y'all. All right. So, the pen loops obviously are the same size. So I've got my Jelly Roll pins here. I have an Ink Joy one that's here as well. But then when you flip it, this is where you have more of the pin loops. So you remember your Kipling did not have any pin loops on the opposite side. The material, the vinyl that's in here is basically the same if you ask me. Um, you've got a, uh, I think what, 12 pins you can fit here or 14 or so pins that you can fit here. Then you have Again, the pockets, so I have some more pens. I'm, again, I was throwing pens, and I've got colored pencils in here. 
and I threw in some of my disc from the Walmart. Anyways, so I'm taking all this out to show you that in the inside, again, there is another section or another pocket for you to put things. So like right now, I have my um, pocket page in here, a clear one. And then I have these um, envelopes that I got that I was going to do a project with that I bought on clearance from American Crafts for that new typeset. You can see 99 cents. but So you can stick items in here. So here's some things to are kind of a good to know that you can do with this is that not only this, you know, pencil case can be a pencil case as it's said or marketed, right? It does fit your um, Happy Planner value books in it. And I don't have a value book to put in it because I already took mine's out. So um, here is the one that I use. So you can see it's larger. It doesn't fit really well because, of course, I made my cover bigger. But as you can imagine, this is the value book here. So let's just let's do this. This is the cover. It fits just like that. Fits perfect. So just giving you some perspective there. The other thing that you can do is if you have a mini happy planner, you can fit your happy planner in there. So this is in a deluxe cover and this is a mini happy planner. And it could be your carry case for it. I zipped it up. And the thing with that, so you can have your own tote put your pencils and such in, in here and I remember I still have my I put it on top of the pens but it could fit right here bam so you could definitely fit that with the deluxe cover of course it's gonna fit without a deluxe cover if you were to put it in in um, in the case in the pencil case so that's just something to kind of give you some perspective let's see if the recollections planner will fit in here which it should it does so if you have a recollections planner and you want to carry case for it for whatever reason you can stuff that in there and this one's an empty one so let's see one that has some stuff in it if it will go it does again it fits so you can multi-purpose this of course to your liking and what you need um, as you can see with my Kipling, I have die cut pieces that are in it currently, uh, but with this one I actually have pens and such, colored pencils, so you can fit, you know, all your items or whatever you like to carry in here, because just because something is titled something doesn't mean that's what you have to use it for. Uh, you store it how, keep it however you need to keep it, store it however you need to store it. Um, like for those of us who have small spaces, uh, these kind of things come in handy because I can stack them like this. Um, and that's basically what I have in my little niche area is that I have my um, Kipling with die cut pieces and um, pins. So I'll be reorganizing pins and trying to uh, fix up my craft area so I can know where a lot of my things are later. But just to give you kind of that idea so again this is a really good buy in my opinion I it's very comparable to the Kipling um, 100 pen case this is the uh, Mambi pencil case again it retails for $24.99 so it's still cheaper than a Kipling and it can even be cheaper when you use a Michaels coupon and you want to um, get that there's just two colors unlike Kipling has an assortment of colors of course um, but then you don't have to hunt for them at Michael's, um, not at Michael's, at Marshall's or Ross, trying to find, you know, if you're lucky, to find a Kipling case. And usually they have to be near a Kipling store where you can kind of see that they show up in your Ross or your um, Marshall's. But at this point, there's just the two colors, the teal and the salmon color, because they kind of go with the new tote bags. So uh, if you have any questions about the case, just let me know. Again, I think it is definitely worth the price um, than uh, you buying a Kipling. I like that it has the inner pocket so you can just really stuff this up and that you've got your pen loops and you can just throw things that are in here. So I'm considering that I might go back and buy yet another one, but I'm going to wait for Michaels to have another 50% off coupon um, so I can get it for like $12. It works out for me.
Alrighty, so until later, butterfly beauties. Bye bye.